Hello and welcome to Photoshop. Learn Photoshop for architectural visualization. In just a few hours, when taking this course, you'll be using Photoshop to take your 3D renderings to the next level. We'll talk about 3ds Max, plus V-Ray, plus Photoshop. That is the killer combo when trying to do great architectural images. My name is Adam Zollinger, by the way, that's me on the left. Here's a sample of some of my work. This isn't the exact image we'll be working on in the course, but this shows what I am capable of and what you can do with an image in Photoshop. On the left, you see the raw render, and then on the right, the after image. You can see where it can be taken to using just post-processing techniques in Photoshop that I will show you in this course. You can see it's dramatically improved. In this course, we will go step by step through the processing of a rendering. You will learn everything you ever needed to know to enhance your renderings using Photoshop. Let's have a look at the images we'll be working on. This is a raw rendering straight out of V-Ray and 3ds Max. You can see that depending on your monitor, maybe the colors are shifted a little bit. There's not a lot of contrast and the image doesn't really pop. It needs that extra push. So I'll show you how to take it from this to this. You can see that's a much more dramatic image. You may or may not like everything I did here, but the great thing is that in the course I teach you how to do everything, and you can either take it or leave it. You can mask things out. You can keep things in if you like them. But this course will give you all the tools you need to make something that you do like and it will be better than the raw rendering, I guarantee it. So from here, in the next section, I take you from this image to this image. And amazingly, without re-rendering at all, we can get a night scene from day. We can turn day to night. So you can see the lighting levels here are much different than in the original image. The colors are much different. And believe it or not, I did not re-render to create this image. This is all done using Photoshop. And looking at it now, I think there's a couple things I might change, but that's the nice thing. All this is non-destructive, so I can actually go back into my Photoshop file right now and change this again if I want to. All the original info is still there, and I can go back to it whenever I want. Here are the sections from the course. Proper V-Ray rendering setup to have maximum control in post. That mostly involves V-Ray render channels, how to set them up, which ones we need, etc. Post-processing your rendering in Photoshop. Tricks to making your renderings pop. Using render channels, selections, adjustment layers, blending modes, masks, etc. We'll go over all that stuff. So if you don't know a lot about Photoshop already, this is a great section to get you up to speed with the tools that you'll need and the basic techniques. Next section is compositing an image from scratch using floating point render channels. Have complete control. This is what I was showing you with the non-destructive adjustment of light. So for example, we can turn day into night. We can adjust light levels up and down in post non-destructively. We can completely change the look and feel of your image without re-rendering. Next section, compositing in billboard images. That's adding people, backgrounds, trees, etc., any kind of entourage, like the gentleman here on the right. And then the next session, section is the finishing touches, where I'll show you all my tips and tricks for polishing off an image. We'll talk about adjustment layers more, color overlays, sharpening filters, and much, much more. By the end, you'll have everything you need to know, all the tips, tricks, techniques, etc. to really enhance your images without having to go back and do it all in 3D. It can save you time, and it can really make your images stand out from the crowd. So join up.